Now the, the context of this game is what you have to consider. So let's see how Machine rebounds. It's very odd to come out in the morning and play one point to decide your game. And a game that's going to be a factor in this pool. So it'll be interesting to see how Machine mentally rebounds from that loss against the hometown team Chain who has reigned supreme at this tournament for years on end. Machine in red, Chain in white as we watch. Machine Cutter dropping the disc there. So it's going to be Chain Lightning with a chance at an early break. It's going to be Nikki Spiva picking up the disc. Spiva, a Team USA player, playing with Chain this weekend before he heads to Columbia to play in the World Games next week. Chain looking. And now the disc comes into the middle for Julian Dahl, and he swings it to the sideline. Spiva. Very nice. To get mark. rid of it, and he's going to throw a blade into the end zone for the score. And it's Chain Lightning taking the early 1-0 lead with the break. The disc flowing through three players there. Andrew Hollingworth, one of the new captains of this Chain Lightning team, along with Jolie and Dahl, who is a former World Games team member, and Nikki Spive, our current World Games team member. A solid uh, end zone offense. It's, it's a Chain team that's known for the long ball. They're very proud of their Chicks Dig the Long Ball mantra. Uh, so seeing them operate in an end zone offense to get an early break, it's got to be a positive sign if you're an Atlanta fan.